the Pittsburgh Steelers and the entire 2017 NFL Draft is in the books now. We just spoke with Kevin Colbert and Mike Tomlin, the Steelers general manager and head coach respectively, for the first time since we spoke with them after TJ Watt's selection as the 30th overall pick in the draft. Here's how they justified the remaining seven picks. The second round, the Steelers took Juju Smith-Schuster, uh, a wide receiver out of USC. They said, listen, he was one of the youngest guys at the Combine. He was 19 for part of last season, and he was 20 in Indianapolis when they saw him. They love that about him, and he's going to add competition to the receiver position. They, Kevin Colbert openly joked about, and Mike Tomlin, again, appreciated uh, Sammy Coates and Martavis Bryant's Twitter exchange along those lines, and that he is going to add competition to the receiver group that, frankly, struggled pretty badly last year with Martavis Bryant suspended. In the third round, it took... James Conner out of Pitt, uh, who Kevin Colbert, you know, reiterated again, look, he doesn't need to explain uh, James Conner's off the field story, but that as a backup to Le'Veon Bell, he makes a lot of sense for them, but also he's going to have to contribute on special teams. Colbert referred to Conner's spot experience as a defensive end, and then he said, at one point he said, Look, I'm looking forward to watching James Conner cover kicks as much as I am watching him carrying the ball, which, with Le'Veon Bell, will often have to be the case. In the fourth round, the Steelers took Josh Dobbs, the quarterback out of Tennessee, and they explained the, the pick pretty straightforwardly. Mike Tomlin referred to players, you know, with uh, rockets. With rocket science degrees, there's a party boat behind me. With rocket science degrees, aerospace engineering is what Josh Dobbs studied in college. Uh, and and Kevin Colbert said, "Listen, Kevin Colbert said, listen, we told you we were." Kevin Colbert said, "Listen, we said we were going to address the quarterback position soon. We did it. Josh Dobbs is is clearly a project for the Steelers, but he's now a Steeler and one that they can work with behind Ben Roethlisberger. Certainly not without Ben Roethlisberger, as had been implied earlier in the off season. In the fifth round, the Steelers did take a cornerback out of Utah, Brian Allen, and look." They made it clear, the Steelers got a cornerback, they wanted a cornerback, they like that he's big and can play, you know, close to the line of scrimmage, but also that when they got Cameron Sutton in the third round, in addition to James Conner, who I forgot earlier, it was as insurance for that position. Cameron Sutton has proven he has experience, he can play the position, Brian Allen is more of a project, but he makes sense for the team there, just in terms of the physical mold that he can add to the position that frankly they've been trying to acquire for at least the past two years in the post-Dick LeBeau era. Uh, in the sixth round, the Steelers drafted a long snapper, we talked about that earlier, something they haven't done since 1979. Uh, however, as, as the head coach and, and general manager explained it after the draft, they thought, look, the Patriots added a long snapper a couple years ago. It worked out for them, and it's hard to get long snappers who can actually physically compete in the NFL. College rules make it such that long snappers can be 200 or so pounds and not really have to worry about competing with NFL-sized athletes. Colin Holba, on the other hand, uh, is about 6'3 and 6 eighths of an inch uh, and weighs 240-some pounds. Those are the parameters that you would want around a line, not a long snapper uh, certainly still is a very questionable pick but one that they that they had an ability to justify in terms of just look we thought he was a player it doesn't matter the position it did establish that Greg Warren is healthy uh, and remains healthy he's coming up on his 13th season uh, but that he's competition for Greg Warren in the meantime if Holba ends up on the practice squad so be it and then lastly the Steelers added uh, Keon Adams out of Western Michigan it seems like he'll be an outside linebacker they said that listen he's just he's an athlete guy he's a project guy uh, it's it to me it's not dissimilar to what they did with Travis Feeney last year the Washington outside linebacker who they put on the practice squad but ended up getting signed away to the New Orleans Saints which to some extent justifies the pick that is all from the 2017 NFL Draft. We'll be back on May 12th with Rookie Mini Camp when we'll see all of these draft picks and a couple eligible players from the Steelers' pre-existing roster. But, and I'll leave you with this, Kevin Colbert did warn, the team is coming up on, on 89 players on the roster. Once all, once all the draft picks are signed, the Steelers will only have a couple spots left on the 90-man roster. And with the team already at 80-plus players, uh, as undrafted free agents come in, cuts will have to be made and Kevin Colbert said look 
we are going to cut players and will be because we think the guys that are coming off the streets as rookies in this class will be improvements over the guys already on the roster.